tips for women 17 of the hottest you would want to try remember your pleasure comes first i'm here to make your knacking life better the more openly we talk about knacking and knacking health it becomes much easier whether you're looking for ways to spice things up or are on the hunt for broadening your knacking repertoire i've rounded up some of the best tips for women because we all deserve to be having great sex remember your pleasure is just as important as your partners so if you're not into any of the suggestions skip them and while this list primarily consists of knacking advice to help you become better in bed it is also worth remembering that confidence is key and taking the time to play and discover what you like is often just as sexy as trying to please a partner tip number one spend time kissing full-on kissing boosts level of dopamine in the brain a desire spiking neurotransmitter in both men and women according to a study in the american journal of medicine to get things really going try this piece of knacking advice trace their lips slowly with your tongue or softly bite the edge of their lower lip with your teeth number two play with their ears in a survey ears ranked just behind the scrotum as a body part that when touched can help men reach their peak. Who knew it was such a turn on? Add this to your list of knacking techniques. Try delicately nibbling or licking their ears as they are getting closer to achieving the big O. While whispering something like, do you like it when I touch you? You can blow softly onto their ears for an ultra intimate reaction. Tip number three, do not be scared of the scrotum. No biting or pinching, please. This area is extra vulnerable to sharp impact. So what is up its streets and what ranking? In the best sex tips for women, gentle sucking, squeezing or cupping, which may help some men reach climax more easily during knocking. When it comes to foreplay, use this technique. Start with your hand around boot balls. Then bring your fingertips together over them like you're picking up a napkin off the floor. Tip number four, get involved in the neck. Their neck is as tingle triggering as your own. And a study published in the journal Ergonomics found that the neck loves low frequency vibrations. Take advantage by kissing the back of their neck with your mouth slightly open and hard. The combination of heat and vibrations will help prompt some serious sensations or dip into your toy drawer for a fingertip vibe and massage their hairline. Knocking tip number five, do not be shy with the shaft. Men rated the shaft tops for orgasmic sensitivity when compared with the rest of their nether region, says a survey published in the journal BJU International. Because the internal erectile tissues lie deep beneath the skin's surface. When it comes to how to get your grip on, the best knocking tips for women will tell you that many guys like the shaft handled freely, firmly. Form a fist around it, moving up and down and adding pressure as you go. Tip number six, pay their nipples some attention. They would like a little TLC for your information. Men who were surveyed for a study in the journal Cortex admitted that the nips were one of their top hot spots. I suggest sucking on one while stroking their joystick with your hand. Adding the two original zones together can be so pleasurable. Tip number seven, get involved with the head. The head of the joystick or the glands has significantly more nerve than the shaft. So don't skimp on the attention. The tip is basically the closest thing a person with joystick has to a clit, though it is not nearly as sensitive. We win in that department. After cutting your fingers in lube, loop them into an O shape and slide them over the glands. Then use short slow pumps that tighten around the tips. During oral, run your thumb all over the glands and use some soft suction. Knocking tip number eight, hit a bum note. The prostate gland Located a finger's length inside the bone is the male G spot. To hit this orgasm inducing region, you will need to insert a well lubricated digit into your man's behind directed towards the front of his body. If neither you nor him is up for that, you can either stimulate the prostate by touching the perineum. Remember, if you're going to try any kind of anal play, lube is very much necessary. Knocking tip number nine, have a perineum party located behind the scrotum and before his rear entry. This spot contains a gent's ejaculatory muscles, which when massaged can make his blast off feel even more intense. Use your thumb to gently rub the perineum in a circular motion, keeping in rhythm with what your mouth is doing. Right before he's about to finish, press the spot firmly to give him the big O to top all big O's. Then, 
ask for anything you want in return. Thank me later. Tip number 10, try dirty talk. If you fancy trying something new, why not give dirty talk a while? Erotica and pornography are great sources of inspiration for examples of dirty talking and to figure out what kind of dirty talking arouses you. And might I also suggest a second viewing of Bridgerton for some simple, yes, sexy one-liners. Although you might not need inspo from external sources, the brain is the main knacking organ. So looking at your own knacking fantasies, non-judgmental, might be another place where you find a lot of inspirations. Tip number 11, give them a tantric massage. Incorporating a sensual tantric massage into your repertoire can be super sexy. It is a little complex to go into. Tip number 12, suggest a new position. If you're in a long-term partnership, bringing in some novelty is key. When it comes to achieving a knocking life that sustains the first trail as when you first got together, one way to make you feel better in bed is by knowing which position works for you and so which to instigate. Tip number 13, master phone knocking. If you don't live with the person you're knocking with and want to maintain that spark of knocking connection, then make a thorough research on how to do it better. Knocking tip number 14, get kinky. Does your partner enjoy when you get a bit bossy? during the moment. Tell them what you're about to do to them and have them repeat what you say. Whisper, I'm going to lick your right nipple now and then bite it subtly. Ask them, what am I going to do? And have them repeat it back to you. This is also a great way to get into talking dirty, which has its own delights. Number 15, try edging. Many men who think they suffer from PE actually don't. The average time from entering to reaching the big o for a man is average at five to seven minutes if you want to prolong this and spice things up at the same time try edging never heard of it edging is the practice of stopping yourself from achieving the big o while this might sound counterintuitive it can actually lead to longer and more satisfying achieving the big o stop knocking stimulation and wait for about 30 seconds before continuing, repeat until you're ready to reach the big O, which can elongate the time between stimulation and ejaculation. It also makes things hell hot too. Tip number 16, deep the tip. The temptation to go straight in and deep can often mean penetration is over very quickly. Get him to tease you with just the tip. There are so many nerve endings all around the vulva, the lips, just in the opening, not to mention the G-spot being around two inches inside. Get him to use his joystick to trace your lips and just nudge in a little bit and then pull again. The build up to the full penetration is what will send you into a sexual frenzy of canal lust. Knocking tip number 17, master masturbation or self-pleasure. Experts believe that mastering your own pleasure first can actually improve your knocking life with someone else. You can build some of your own confidence and self-esteem by learning what it is you enjoy. What are your own tips? Leave it down there for me in the comment section. Like the video, share the video. I'm going to see you next time on the next one. Leave your comment. Tell me anything in the comment section. Bye.